Hello and welcome back to Timeless RC. This time we're going to look at another kit which will be built uh, shortly on the channel and that's another Tamiya and it's the Tamiya Zahak which is not everybody likes it because of the, the shape of the shell but it's on the DN01 chassis which I think is quite a nice looking chassis it's obviously two wheel drive and it's very similar to the TRF201 chassis. Uh, it shares a lot of things with it, other than uh, that's more uprated with shocks and uh, it's a better chassis. I have got a T01, <coughs> sorry, TRF201 chassis and a body set to put on this if I want to do that. But I think at first I will build it as it is from the box because that's what it's intended so I may it may modify it at some point in time but uh, let's take a look inside the box so, first off you can see it's a second hand never been built we've got the body gel which I don't think it's actually a bad looking shell, I, I think it's it's better than some people say, but it's, I suppose it's personal opinion, so and I've got a, the paint for it ready. Some nice pink wheels, which are the, they're not standard ones that come with the kit, these are options for some reason. Another tin of paint, which is the pink, for the wing. We get one set of tyres, which are the rear, and they are they're quite nice looking tyres actually, and they feel quite soft already with the uh, sponge inserts. Then you've got the front tyres, which are the the groove tyres, which also feel fairly soft, and they come with foams as well. Then you've got a bag of all the small parts, screws fixings, oil for the shocks, got foam, all sorts of things in there, things for the turnbuckles. You've got your rear wing, which actually looks like two wings, so I'm not sure if one's slightly different to the other or there's just the way that the mould's produced. So. Back to a box of plastic bits, that's the top section of the chassis. And you've got some arms and things. Got the rear motor cover, plastic. Well, on a lot of coach shows, they're metal. Tamiya seem to, to do them plastic, but you can get hop up options for that. There's a top battery holder, and several other bits of plastic bits. Arms. More arms. It's the chassis, which is very, very similar to the 201 chassis, but I think the TRF 201 chassis that I've got, which is the, uh, the hop up one, is it's made of a, a different material, so it's lighter but more flexible. So it gives you the it's better handling when you're racing. Depends on what you're going to use the buggy for. If you're going to just drive it around or whether it's going to sit on the shelf then it's not worth the expense of upgrading but if you're actually serious about racing it's a very good buggy to race in the two-wheel drive class so it's uh, worth doing. That's the small gearbox obviously being two-wheel drive there's not going to be a lot of gears and another bag of plastic parts gearbox cover remote pinion cover etc and I've noticed you don't actually get a motor or anything else in this, so it's, you choose what you want. And you've got your, your decals. It actually says wings, so I'm not sure why it's got two wings, whether it's in case you damage one, you've got a spare, I'm not sure. Manual. 
and your aerial hot wire holder. Probably won't use that because I'll probably install a 2.4 gig gigahertz radio gear and obviously you don't need the aerial so that's it for that one. So yeah we look forward to doing that. Now I want to get done fairly early on. <coughs> Amongst other things I've got uh, the Volvo FH16 tow truck to do. That one I want to get done fairly early on because it is an impressive machine and I look forward to doing that one. I've got a night hauler which at some point will be finished. It's actually built but I need to repaint the body because I, when I did it originally the, I did a nice gloss finish on it and when I applied the lacquer the lacquer started spitting and it absolutely ruined the whole thing so I've, I've got two new uh, body parts for it to do from scratch then I can install all the chrome work and things but that has got a full MFA, MFC01 system on it so it's got the sound indicators like everything else and the trailer is built but that needs finishing I am going to get my wife to paint that because my wife's an artist and she's a cake maker bespoke cake maker so what we want to do with that one is paint the back of the lorry to um, advertise the the cake business so when we go to shows and that we can put that up on the table and it it acts as a bit of advertising for both both things really so but uh, for now happy RCing and take care please like and subscribe and you'll get uh, all the future updates as soon as they're released thank you